A pupusa, Spanish pronunciation, pupusa, from pipal pupasawa, is a traditional Salvadoran dish of a thick corn tortilla stuffed with a savory filling. It is typically accompanied by curtido, a spicy cabbage slaw, and tomato salsa. Pupusas are also a popular dish in Honduras especially in southern regions. The tortilla is commonly handmade from masa de maíz, nixtamalized corn flour, filled and cooked on a comal griddle. Common fillings include one or more of cheeses, pork chicharrones, laroco and refried beans. Etymology Papusa may be a Spanish rendering of popotlix, which is a combination of the pipal or nahuatl words papatl meaning large, stuffed, bulky, and tlaxcali which means tortilla. It may also come from the pipal language. History Papusas were first created centuries ago by the Pipal tribes who inhabited the territory now known as El Salvador. Cooking implements for their preparation have been excavated in Hoya de Surin, El Salvador's Pompeii, site of a native village that was buried by ashes from a volcano eruption, and where foodstuffs were preserved as they were being cooked almost 2,000 years ago. The instruments for their preparation have also been found in other archaeological sites in El Salvador. The pre-Columbian pupusa were vegetarian and half-moon shaped. They were filled with squash flowers and buds, herbs such as chipoline and mora, fungi and salt. By 1570 meat had been incorporated into the filling, as noted by Franciscan monk Bernardino de Sahagan. In the late 1940s, pupusas were still not widespread across El Salvador, and were mostly localized in the central towns, such as Quetzaltepec, and cities of the country. As the population began migrating to other areas in the 1960s, pupusa stands proliferated across the country and in neighboring areas of Honduras and Guatemala, sometimes with variations in shape, size or filling. In Guatemala during the 1970s, pupusas had a half-moon shape. The half-moon shape would be considered a half-eaten pupusa in the Xalatenango area. Fish pupusas were uncommon, and pupusas served east of the Lempa River usually had a much larger diameter. In the 1980s, the Salvadoran Civil War forced a Salvadoran migration to other countries, mainly the United States. Therefore, pupusas became available outside the country wherever a Salvadoran community was found. Immigrants have brought the dish to most areas of the United States. Pupusirias also may be found in many areas of Canada. In recent years, pupusas can even be found in some Latin American restaurants in Adelaide, Melbourne and Sydney in Australia. On 1 April 2005, the Salvadoran Legislative Assembly declared pupusas as the national dish of El Salvador and every second Sunday of November would be National Pupusas Day. A fair is typically held on the day in the capital and a few big cities. On 10 November 2007, in celebration of National Pupusa Day, the Secretary of Culture organized a fair in the Capitol Park in which they would make the world's biggest pupusa. The pupusa was 3.15 meters in diameter and was made with 200 lb of masa, 40 lb of cheese, and 40 lb of chicharron. It fed 5,000 people. Five years later, the record was broken again with a pupusa 4.25 meters in diameter. Guinness World Records lists the largest pupusa at 4.5 meters, created in Oloquilta, El Salvador on November 8, 2015. In 2011, The Guardian named pupusas that year's best street food in New York, both at home and abroad. Pupusas are traditionally served with curtido, a pickled cabbage relish, analogous to German sauerkraut and Korean kimchi that comes in mild and spicy varieties, and tomato sauce, and are traditionally eaten by hand. Controversy El Salvador and Honduras both claim to be the birthplace of the pupusa. Salvadoran archaeologist Roberto Ordonez attributed the creation of the pupusa to the Pipal people due to the name meaning swollen in the Pipal language, and the artifacts found in the Hoya de Karen which show ingredients and tools that were used to make an early version of pupusas. Honduran etymologists say that since the Pipal language is so close to the Nahuatl language, the Honduran Nahua tribe could have created the dish. The topic of the pupusa's origin also came up during the negotiation for the CAFTA drive. Both nations wanted to make the pupusa an exclusive export. After two days the Honduran delegation ceded the right to El Salvador. 
Regional variations A variant of the pupusa in El Salvador is the pupusa de arroz. Rice flour is used to make the dough and they are usually stuffed with chopped pork, cheese, beans, zucchini, and other vegetables. They hail from the town of Oloquilta, located to the east of San Salvador, but are now readily available throughout the country. Another regional variation found in Alegria, is the pupusa de banano, which calls for the addition of plantain bananas to the pupusa. Latin America Pupusas are also found in neighboring Central American countries. Honduran versions use the local casillo type of cheese for the filling. In Costa Rica, both Salvadoran pupusas and pupusas are available, the latter being a local version. There, they are a staple of the food stalls at regional carnivals known as fiestas. A similar Mexican dish is called a gordita, literally, little fatty, but gorditas are usually open at one end. In Venezuela, they make arepas, where the dough is cooked first, and then sliced in half and stuffed somewhat like a hamburger. Colombia has its own recipe of arepas, but, unlike Venezuelan, Colombian arepas are usually eaten without filling, or the filling is placed inside the dough before cooking. United States Pupusas made in the United States are typically made with maseca, brand, commercial corn flour masa mix, instead of fresh masa harina. Some high-end pupuserias in the United States use rice flour and wheat flour versions. In Santa Fe, New Mexico, variations include using spinach, pepperoni, cheese, and green chili. Taco Cabana, a Tex-Mex chain in Texas, created a dish called the pupusa that has no relation to the Salvadoran food. Economy In spite of their low market price, pupusas represent an important element in the economy of El Salvador. In addition to whole pupusas, the individual ingredients are also exported. In 2005, for example, $604,408 worth of Laroco, sometimes used as a pupusa filling, was sold to the United States alone. Frozen pupusas can be found in the refrigerated section of many Hispanic and international supermarkets in the United States, especially ones that are located in highly concentrated areas of Salvadorans such as Washington, D.C. and Long Island, New York. Pupusa sales play a significant role in the Salvadoran economy. According to the Salvadoran Ministry of Economy between the years of 2001 to 2003, pupuserias generated $22 million. The export of ingredients such as Laroco has also helped boost the economy. As of 2005, 300,000 people made pupusas for a living, with a majority of them being women. See also List of maize dishes List of street foods References Further reading Planet, L. Staff, Lonely Planet Publications, 2012. The World's Best Street Food, Where to Find It and How to Make It. Lonely Planet Publications. p. 137. ISBN 978-1-74321-664-4. Retrieved 30 July 2016.